Well, boys, yep, you saw the thumbnail. So, I'm getting a lot of you guys asking me, why, what, I don't understand. You're all very confused, which I expect to be confused, you know. I always want to keep you thinking, you know, keep your mind going. So here's the thing, if you missed the video of the motorhome, I'm a refresh your memory over here. So, I was not planning to purchase a motorhome. The stacker was, because it had a living quarters in it, it made, or gave me room for my, my sand car, my son's toys, you know, my daughter's stuff, she wants to put in there. Uh, whatever she wants to put, you know. So, what we would do is, if it was just me and my son, we would take the toy hauler, that's in the garage, and we would put his Razor 170 in the truck and then my sand car in the toy hauler. Well, that's only if really the wife wants to go because she doesn't want to stay in the stacker. So mainly it's me and my son. So the whole purpose of the stacker was this is perfect. Pull my sand car in, put it upstairs. I got room, pull his stuff in. We got the living quarters. Um, we've got, you know, the bathroom, the shower, the fridge, you know, we got everything in it, AC, heat, that was the purpose. Well, now <clears throat> I'm not going to use it. I don't need a stacker with the living quarters. Now I need pretty much just 24 foot enclose or a, you know, 20 foot stacker where I still have room to still put toys. I don't need a living quarter. I don't need AC. I don't need heat. Uh, I probably add AC and heat anyways in the new trailer I get or whatever I get, but I don't need the living quarters, you know, so there's... You know, I, I, me personally, I'd rather have storage. You know, I'd rather have a toolbox. Let me, let me, let me show you. So here you go, boys. This is her. So this is for sale. It's a 2020 Universal trailer, stacker trailer, whatever you'd like to call it. It is 26 feet, 28 with the tongue, but the trailer itself is 26 feet. I'll take you inside. So it does have a hundred gallons of water. It's got two 40 gallon fuel tanks. It's got a fridge, it's got heat, it's got awning, it's got lights, it's got a 75 inch TV. It has three uh, 7,500 pound axles on it. The tires, I believe, are, I think, G rated 100. And uh, where is it? I forget the play. Yeah, so it's, uh, where is it? 100. Gosh, I can't see anything right now. All right, I, it's got to be like, I think it's a hundred, oh, there it is, 110. So it's a G-rated 110 uh, PSI 8 lug. And I'll take you inside. It's been garage kept uh, in the other garage. It has, uh, here you go, the belly lift. Here, we'll turn all the lights on for you guys. Got the belly lift right there. Uh, you know, take it upstairs, do what you want. It's got inverter, generator. Here's fresh water, black, uh, you know, battery. It's got everything, whatever you need. Hot water heater, you just, boom, flip that baby on right there. You give it a sec. There you go. So now it's heating the hot water for you. So it's like pretty much a toy hauler, but just not as not as fancy, whatever you like to call it, or, or fancier. So now, see, me personally, I would rather have a work area now since I no longer need a living quarters. You got a little work area here. Um, so here's, you know, if you want to, whatever you want to call it, cabinet. You've got your fridge right here. You don't get the ice maker in my boom box. You got your sink, got your mini split. You got your shower, bathroom shower right here. There you go. See that? Boom. And then you got upstairs, you can either sleep, you know, if you want to sleep here, pass out here on the couch, or you can go upstairs, and I'll take you up here, and oh, here you go, you got all this, you can sleep up here, I mean, there's plenty, plenty of room to sleep up here, you can probably, I mean, you can put a full-size queen easily up there, like an air mattress if you'd like, also, this TV swings out right here, so if you take the belly lift and go upstairs with it, you can, you know, put some chairs here, watch TV. I mean, it's nice, you know, it's cool. But like I said, guys, for me, I want sort of a, put a toolbox, put a workbench, you know, put, make it something I'm gonna use. Cause here's the issue, is I'm never gonna use the fridge, the bathroom, the shower. 
I'm not going to use any of it. Why would I? Because I got the motor home and I don't really take people with me. So it's not, you know, like all my friends, all my family, they already have motorhomes. They have toy haulers. They have trucks. So I don't bring any anybody with me really to enjoy it. So the problem is that I don't want it sitting either. So here it is, guys. This is it. If you are interested, DM me at Eddie's Life um, on Instagram or on Facebook if you're interested uh, in this thing. I'm asking 85 k If you want to negotiate the price, the price is negotiable. Of course, cash, get a better price. So, you know, uh, I'm just going to start there. You know, I'm, I'm like I said, I, I'm really not in no crazy hurry to sell this thing. Uh, it's not even desert season, so I don't know. Who knows? But I'm going to just start off at 85 and then you know, go from there and see what offers I get. TV works, uh, you know, without the generator. So you don't have to turn the generator on because like I said, it's got a go power I have installed in here, a 2000 watt go power inverter. So you can pretty much run everything lights, you know, the fridge, uh, you can put it on AC or propane. If you would like, I'll show you a little walk around too, right over here. All right. Uh, there's your fuel station. So that one is for the generator. Well, you can fill them from both. There's pumps on both, but that's for the generator and that's just for the toy. So if you want to put race fuel in one and regular fuel in that one, you can. Uh, you got an LED light under the awning. You got an LED here. I'll turn all these on for you, actually. Here. Boom. Everything is on. That's for the upstairs. Um, you can see everything, everything all works. There you go. There's lights there, and I will show you the back lights over here. And you also got a reverse camera. There you go. This trailer, guys, also is 106 wide. It is not 102, so it's wider than your average trailer. There you go. And this thing, um, like I said, it's always been garaged. I'm going to actually put it back in the garage uh, because the toy hauler is leaving uh tomorrow i believe so i'm gonna put this back in the garage that's how it stays so clean if you guys are asking me because it stays garage kept uh other than that boys that's about it here's the inverter oh right here propane inverter right there you got your 30 amp cord and then you've got generator on that side and you know you got your two windows one up there and your other one on the other side right over there there you go so that's uh that's her that's pretty much her this is nice so if i do get a trailer this is something i want to add like asap this why this is awesome is because well when you have a motorhome say you run out of water hook this hose pick it up literally turn it on kick the pump on you know and boom it starts pumping into your motorhome which is awesome it's one thing i love about this thing so you would just you know you have it hooked up open a compartment start filling with water and now you have because this holds 100 gallons now this holds 100 gallons so you have 200 gallons of water basically which that's awesome now my route i'm probably gonna go with maybe like a 24 foot or 26 foot trailer I don't want to go too long because I don't want to get pulled over uh, because I know the limit is 65. So uh, I don't want to get, you know, popped uh, by a patrol or something. And then, you know, they say, oh, I'm an impounded or do this or yada, yada, whatever it is. Uh, so probably going to go 24 foot uh, just to be on the safe side. This thing, you know, with the tongue is 28. So I don't know. I just, I don't need it, guys. It's just going to sit. I don't want it to rot. And pretty much I rather give it to somebody that's going to use the thing you know makes more sense so let me know your thoughts on that guys i just i don't need that anymore you know there's no point of having two living quarters i only need one but that's all i got for you guys thank you for watching the video if you like it hit that thumbs up button don't want to click subscribe peace yeah